Hi everyone, today I wanted to show you what I've been doing this whole past week. It's probably the past two weeks, and that is making my ornaments for my tree. So these two hearts you see here, I picked up at the Dollar Tree. You get four in a pack. And what I ended up doing was, I glued two together. So the black part of the heart, I glued you know, leaving the outside the the tannish color, the wood color, so it would be easier to paint. And I put um, this glitterific from folk art, this paint. I used that. Actually, I didn't use this one. Hold on. I'll show you the one I used. that one up too but I actually use this one so they're the same except this one's more of silvery and this is more white so I made these two things um, and I've had these little bling pieces from Michaels for probably three years and I'm just glad I'm using everything up because I'm getting sick of looking at it so I made this one I, you know, I put the, the glitterific on it on both sides, and then when it dried, I put these on. And this one has all those little pieces on it. So that's something I made. That, that's drying right now. I've also had these little miniature teacup set or just miniature. I don't know, you know, the little cups and things, and I made these into ornaments, and I put E6000, a little bit of hot glue, and then I put, um, I held it together with just a little, little rhinestone, so I have these two, I don't know if you could see it, I don't know if I really showed you, so I have that one, the little cup and dish, that looks like, like a little gravy boat. Anything little, I love. It could be, I don't care what it is. If it's little, it's just adorable. I have this one. You know, they would make, um, like these little ones would be cute on a little tree too. A little miniature tree. Although, if you had a regular size tree and you had a lot of ornaments, these would also be cute. Like if you just put it on and just tucked it in little spots here and there, it would also be cute. And I realize I should have had gold, uh, gold ribbon here. It's not ribbon. I don't know. I don't remember what it's called. Some kind of wire. I realized that, but that's all I had. I didn't have gold, so I stuck with the silver. Uh, I also have these with little, like a little spoon in it. Just too cute. Um, and I think I have another kind over here. Uh, I got a little bit bigger. This is the like, biggest one out of all of them. That's cute. Okay, what else did I finish? I made wreaths. I'm supposed to be making candy canes, but for now I have the wreaths. So I have them with um, the red ruby beads and paddle wheel beads and the green emerald beads. I got them from Beatery, I think. Or no, Bead Tin, I think. Bead Tin, I got the colored ones and the paddle wheels I got from Beatery on Amazon. You can go on eBay too, but I seem to go and do a lot of shopping on Amazon. And if anybody likes any of these and they want me to show you how it's done, I can do a tutorial on it. Um, I got a lot of the, like I got these ideas right here from Happy Birds Glitter Nest. If you want to subscribe to her, she always makes very cute ornaments. So I got this idea from her. And let's see what else. She also uh, taught us how to make a bird's nest, so I picked up these adorable birds. They come in purple, they come in blue, pink, <laughs> so cute, yellow, and I think there's a red too. Um, here's like a peach color. 
They also come in like a red, but I ran out of, um, this is, um, something else I learned from Happy Bird. Um, you get one of these key tags, hollow it out. I twisted all fabric around it, and then I put the, the, uh, this is like a web ribbon in gold. I put that all around it, so it formed a wreath, and then the bottom I just put, um, a piece of cardstock. And I attached the ribbon so that it'll hold on the tree. Like, it's a little silly, but I didn't know how else to... It's not like I could put, like, a... Like a bale or something. So, it's just going to hang like this on the tree. Um, and I put some... You can see in there, German glass glitter. Gives it a nice shine. So I learned um, this nest from Happy Bird, and she has a tutorial on it. Like I said, if there's anything here that you like and you see and you want me to do a tutorial on it, feel free. Um, I originally got the idea from her on a lot of these things. So I have those. I also got this angel idea from her, too, years ago. So I just made this out of ribbon. These are her wings, and this is the skirt. And I put a little gem right here, and I used, um, actually, these were used with um, iridescent pipe cleaners, and the little bits that were left, I saved, and I was able to put a little halo on the top. And then I just glued it like this with another one of those little gem rhinestones just to hold the wire in place so I made a few of these um, I have some other ribbon too that I think I got red and green I might make some in that too so I thought this was really cute so I made that what else do I have here I made these little mittens again happy birds glitter nest is idea made these little uh, mittens. Did I say mittens? I hope I didn't say ribbons. Oh my goodness. Mittens. Um, and I just mixed some glitters together to make the pink and the chunky glitter. And I had foam. Glitter foam. I've made these snowflakes, I want to say three years ago. I have a bunch of dyes with all these intricate designs and I cut them out. I, I must have cut out one or two hundred of them and they just stayed in my stash and I did absolutely nothing with them so I'm glad I'm using them so I made that I made this is also her idea I made um, these little medallion things and you get these stickers at um, Hobby Lobby we to live 40 off they were last year's and I don't know if they're bringing them back this year but I bought a bunch of them and we put some chain around it and some beads around that with a bale with some some string and I also put this paint again the glitterific on the back just to jazz it up a little bit so it wouldn't look be so plain looking all right we also did these stickers from Dollar Tree and I just put a little bead dangle down here with a little um, jump ring and some ribbon and uh, some snowy surprise glitter on the back just so it's has something there that's beautiful I love this glitter you can get it at Walmart very very pretty so that's what I've been busy doing um, I'm still not done I'm in the process of making some ornaments with the silver spoons from Dollar Tree. Here's one here, just dry. It's got glitter that's just drying. I'm gonna put some charms on that and do something with that. Again, Happy Bird's idea. Learned it from her. So um, that's what I wanted to show you today. Um, so I'm working on those. Um, a gingerbread man. Um, I don't know, a few other things. And then I think I'm all set for for ornaments um, for a while I I think my tree will be just fine with what I have so I think uh, I'll do a few more and then I'll be done if, like I said if anyone wants to know 
how to make anything if you want to pop over to her channel or if you want me to show you how I did it because everyone has their own way of doing things and you know sometimes we tweak it a little bit so one person does it one way another person does it another way you know it's good to see versions of um, how people do it you might think it's easier this way versus that way and and all that so oh yeah I'll be making sugar cookies too with this these hearts are drying and then I'm gonna add some like a frosting to it with little sparkles so yes I've been busy I've been busy with all this stuff so thanks for watching I will my next video I'm not sure what my next video is gonna be maybe it'll be more ornaments I am not sure so we'll see oh no oh no I have magnets coming up too um, I used to make a lot of magnets a while back and they were good sellers and I think I'm gonna make some more I'm gonna show you not only uh, can you stamp on paper and fabric but you can make magnets with your your stamps so I think that's gonna be the next video so stay tuned for that hopefully I'll have that up in a few days I'm just waiting for some of these things to dry and so I can finish them off and put them away so thanks for watching. I'll see you next time and happy crafting.